Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how we can uh, we can uh, execute multiple commands on the Linux command line. Uh, so far, while we've been doing chapter one, it does look like yes, we can only type in one command. For example, we type in date or we type cal, and then these type uh, commands are executed one after the other. Uh, but it turns out that Linux allows us to type in multiple commands on the same line and that's super convenient. The way to do that is to type them and on the same line but separate them uh, using a semicolon and uh, so I do date semicolon cal and as you can see both these commands are executed in the order that was given. So that is um, so the date gets displayed and also uh, the calendar uh, that gets displayed. So I can add, in fact, I can go ahead and add another command. So as you can see, I've typed in three commands. So it executed the date and then the calendar and then the, get, the date again. So, <clears throat> so another thing that we're going to do is um, you see four commands so I can have multiple commands and as long as I separate them with a semicolon then Linux is going to just take this uh, commands and execute them one after the other so if I'd like to uh, perform a couple of functions at a time then uh, I can actually, this is a good way for us to get introduced to uh, how to do programming. Uh, kind of, this is a foreshadowing of um, script programming in that we can just have a sequence of commands uh, that we can uh, give to Linux. Now, one thing that uh, we also can do is we can look at all the commands that we have executed in this particular session. So I can do that by uh, uh, type uh, the history command here and that is by entering history uh, and this command will uh, show me a list of all the commands that I have executed in this particular session and all, uh, and all of this is actually show, stored in a bash, a bash file in my, um, in my home directory. So the way the history command works is that every time I add a command uh, then it gets stored at the bottom of the file and then when I execute the history command then it just simply uh, displays the list of commands that it has uh, showed that it has stored in the history file right so here I go I type in history and uh, it looks like it's going to be a rather long list because we have um, uh, commands now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pipe this history command with more because as you know more dis displays a screen full at a time. This is another useful feature of Linux in that I can pipe commands together. So the output of the history command is going to get fed as the input to the more command and this is going to not just print all of the history commands but it's going to pause after every screen full and that's what um, the more command does. Right? So as you can see, I have actually been working and I have maybe about 100 or 150 or 200 commands that I've typed so far. So, uh, but more actually pauses at every screen full. If I'd like to um, move uh, through this, then uh, I, can, I can simply keep uh, clicking the down arrow and that'll take me uh, or I press enter and then this will keep going down one command at a time but if I'd like to go one screen full at a time then I uh, press the space bar and this will move uh, by the screen fulls so that's an easy way for me to move faster and here are the commands that we just entered the date cal clear commands are ones which are separated with a semicolon and as you can see the command 150th command is date semicolon cal. So just like you to make a mental note of this command and for example let's say this was a command that I 
wanted to go back and execute, then now I know what the line number for this command is and I make a note of that. So um, what I'd like to do is now I'd like to break out of this command, right? And the way to break out of the command is to do um, control C and once you do control C it breaks out of this and um, now I would like to execute that date semicolon cal command which was on line 150 so I just go ahead and put an exclamation mark followed by the line number of that command and as you can see it has gone and to that particular command in the file and executed date uh, semicolon cal. So this is a great way for us to uh, uh, to search by line number and execute commands uh, by line number. Yeah, and this is a very useful feature because sometimes you could be working for a long time on the command line and you may have been struggling with the command and that's not working and then finally you got lucky and the command actually started to work and maybe a little while later you um, uh, you did not make a note of that command but now you'd like to go back and execute it or look for the correct syntax then the history uh, pipe more is a very good way of uh, jogging your memory and then locating the command that actually worked for you and then if you want to uh, execute it again. So um, so you can reutilize your commands uh, in that way and you can uh, store them and recycle them. Uh, the last thing that I want to, would like to add is how to find help on the system.